four-door pickup truck, ballasted to 5,000 pounds, impacting the barrier at 62 miles an hour and an angle of 25 degrees. The barrier that we're going to be impacting is the white concrete barrier. Uh, you can see a cone sitting on it. It's underneath our overhead camera. That concrete barrier is commonly known as a New Jersey safety shape barrier. It has been in widespread use in virtually every state uh, as a bridge rail and a median barrier for containing and redirecting passenger cars. So uh, what's your assessment on uh, if this is going to be successful or not? It's going to, it's going to sound like a train. It's a car, though. It's going to sound like a train. It's going to sound like a small train. A smaller train. Okay, so April, what'd you think? I thought it was awesome. Uh, I would like to see more of those that I'm not involved in. I, I asked if they wanted me to drive because I'm good at getting into accidents, but um, they did not. How many accidents have you been in April? I have probably been in five, let's say. But nothing like that? Nothing like that. Not, nothing where it involved an inanimate object. Is there water put down here purposely? Uh, actually, the water is uh, often used for dust control uh, for our, for our high-speed cameras so that we can visualize more. Well, it's totally, I guess, but it doesn't look like too serious. <laughs> What do you think, Mr. Mayor? Well, we were wondering next time when we do this if you'd be willing to drive it for us, the truck. Would you do that? Do you really not like me that much? <laughs> I thought you enjoyed me. I like you, Steve. I like you. <laughs> it was a very successful test today. The uh, pickup truck came in at 62 miles an hour and 25 degrees. and. The preliminary evaluation, uh, everything looks very positive and uh, is a successful outcome and, and uh, that's a, a good result for uh, the, the states that have been using this barrier for, for many years, uh, that uh, it's, it's continuing to stay uh, a very relevant barrier uh, for, their, for their hardware inventory. What would you think? Well, I, I thought it was just amazing and, and to have the Texas Transportation Institute, which is is saving lives all over America and have that right here in Bryan College Station is uh, such a crown jewel for the AM system and for the country as, as well. Uh, this shows how taxpayers' dollars invested wisely for traffic safety uh, can literally pay off in saving lives.